Hello students. Now we will talk about a small part of this lesson that is how sound is produced from our uh, mouth ok that means what makes sound in, uh, to be produced in our body ok. So, uh, actually you know in our throat there is an organ which is known as voice box ok. What is the organ in our, uh, in our body there is an organ which is known as voice box or sound box. Now we are talking about sound box. or voice box ok. So, where this organ is present? This organ is present in our throat. Now, what is the function of this box and what is the other name for this? This voice box can also be known as larynx ok. This voice box can also be known as larynx. Now, it has got two vocal cards ok. In our throat there is an organ which is known as voice box. Now, this voice box has got two vocal cords ok. Now, how the sound is produced children? When the uh, air is pushed or when the air passes from the vocal cords. Actually the vocal cords are present in the way that between these two vocal cords there is a little slit ok. Between the two vocal cords there is a little slit. Now, when the air passes from this uh, slit, now what happens due to the pa passing of air this body part the vocal parts they starts vibrating ok, they starts vibrating and we have studied in this lesson a number of times that whenever vibrations are there these vibrations give rise to sound or vibrations are only responsible for the production of sound ok. So, whenever the air comes uh, between this slit between the two vocal cords what is happening the sound is produced ok. So, I will just write this but before just we will revise it once again what is happening children in our throat one organ is present which is known as voice box. This voice box is also known as larynx. Larynx is made up of two vocal cords ok. Larynx is made up of two vocal cords in between this two vocal cords slit is present gap is present. Now, whenever the air passes between this slit between the two vocal cords air is whenever the air passes sound is produced. You know actually the pitch of the sound ok which kind of sound will be produced it depends upon the uh, muscles of the vocal cord ok it depends upon the muscles of the vocal cord. If the muscles are very tightly attached ok the muscles are very tight and thin then the sound produced will be of one kind and if the uh, this muscles are very loose ok and they are thick then the sound produced will be little bit different. We will talk about that also first of all I will write the little bit about sound box or the voice box or the larynx ok. So, now we are talking about larynx it is an organ present in our throat ok. It is an organ which is present in our throat. Now, it is made up of what children? It is made up of two vocal cords is not it? It is made up of two vocal cords or vocal cords. Now, what is there between the two vocal cords? A slit is there. A slit is present between the two 
vocal cords okay in our throat one organ is there which is known as voice box or larynx now this larynx is made up of two vocal cords whenever the air passes from the vocal cord sound is produced okay so whenever we speak air is passed through the slit present between the two vocal cords okay whenever we speak what is happening the air is passing through the between the two vocal cords or between the slit now what will happen due to this vibration or due to this vocal cords vibrate okay and thus sound is produced okay so we'll just talk about this again larynx it is an organ which is present in our throat it is made up of two vocal cords a slit is present between the two vocal cords now whenever we speak air passes between this slit through the slit present between the vocal cords now due to this vocal cords vibrate and due to vibration the sound is produced and the sound is produced or due to vibration the sound is produced now so i think now this thing is in your mind that in our throat one organ is there which is known as larynx or voice box it is made up of what vocal cords in between the vocal cords a slit is present now whenever we speak air passes through this slit and this two vocal cords cords they vibrate when they vibrate we all know due to vibration the sound is produced and thus the sound is produced now which kind of sound is produced it depends upon the type the you uh, know the the muscles of how the muscles are attached to the vocal cords okay so we'll talk about that now if the uh, muscles which are attached to the uh, vocal cords are very tight and thin okay if the muscles which are attached to the vocal cords are very tight and thin then what will happen like it will give high frequency sound okay it will give like the high frequency sound means what the uh, pitch of this sound will be very high now we'll talk about the next point what we'll talk about how muscles affect the voice or how muscles affect the sound okay so when we talk about we are talking about vocal cords and muscles okay so if we talk about children the vocal cord is very small okay in children the vocal cord is very what we are talking about what children in children the vocal cord is very small and due to this what is happening you know the sound which is produced by children is of high frequency okay due to this what will happen the sound which is produced by children will be of very high frequency so in children vocal cords is very small and thus 
high frequency sound is produced. Okay, in children the size of the vocal cord is very small and so high frequency sound is produced. In man, okay in man the size of vocal cord, the size of vocal cord is 20 mm okay and in women okay in women the size of vocal cord is 5 mm okay now the thing which is written on the blackboard makes it very clear children that in uh, in the women and children the frequency will be high that is the reason that shrill is very high okay the shrill of the sound is very high but when we talk about men the sound is little dull you know like uh, it's not as sharp or the pitch is not so high even the frequency of the men will be very low in comparison to the women and the children okay now it also depends upon the how which kind of like the, the arrangement of the muscles. If the muscles are thick as we talk about uh, you know if the muscles are very thick and uh, at, at the same time it is very uh, loose okay loose and thick. So in men okay it is very thick and loose. So the sound which will be produced will be very dull it will be you know uh, d you can understand I do not have to define how the sound of the man is isn't it. So uh, there will be that is the reason why the sound is different in women in children in uh, uh, men why that is the reason because the muscles uh, are different okay in man it is very thick and lo loosely attached and so it produces a dull kind of a sound frequency is less whereas when we talk about men, uh, women and children the muscles are very tightly and, uh, packed, you know, uh, arranged and uh, they are thin also and in children the vocal cord itself is very small and when the vocal cord is small the frequency is very high. And that is the reason that in women and in children the shrill sound is produced rather in man you know how uh, which kind of sound is produced. I can even say you know a bass kind of a sound is produced in men okay. So uh, we will just have a quick gist of this. So now we are talking about what we are talking about how and which kind of sound produces in human beings okay. So, in our throat one organ is there which is known as voice box or it can be known as larynx ok. Now, this larynx is made up of vocal cords. Now, there is a there is two vocal cord and between the two vocal cord a slit is present. When we speak ok, when we speak the air goes into the slit ok, it passes from the slit and then what happens due to the pass passing of the air the vocal cord cords starts vibrating. When the vocal cords uh, vibrates the sound is produced ok. Now the vocal cords in the men are very very thick and uh, uh, I should say the muscles ok. The muscles of the vocal cords in the man ok are very thick and they are very loose also and so bass kind of uh, sound is produced that means uh, dull sound is produced ok frequency is very low whereas in children vocal cord is very small and so high pitched sound is produced ok. In men the size of the vocal cord is around 20 mm and women the size of the vocal cord is what it is almost 5 mm that is the difference why there is a difference between the sound uh, of a man woman and children ok. So this is all about how the sound is produced uh, uh, and why it is uh, different 
okay and how can we recognize what is the reason how can we recognize the sound see whenever we are able to recognize the sound like say of the bird and the lion again the same thing children it is all about the difference of frequency difference of pitch that is the reason we can identify that uh, the sound yeah this sound is of a bird and this sound is of a loin okay so now we'll talk about a little uh, bit about the musical instruments uh, see we can understand the difference between the men's voice children's voice and uh, women's voice at the same time i just said we can understand that this sound is of a bird or this sound is of a dog and that particular sound is of a loin why can we understand because of the difference of the frequency pitch okay now uh, we can uh, also understand the sound of the different different uh, musical instruments isn't it if somebody is okay if we are not very uh, well aware of the musical instruments but still we will understand if the uh, one someone is playing a drum and someone is playing a flute okay so then at least we have uh, we can understand the difference isn't it so actually you know the uh, musical instruments can be divided into three categories okay the first category is uh, string that means the uh, musical instruments where string is used maybe you know the violin guitar all these instruments has got a string okay now here the pitch of this sound can uh, you know can be uh, like it why how can it uh, how can the difference can be brought just by bringing the change in the size of the strings isn't it so uh, first of all we'll just talk about the string instruments only a small small thing we'll discuss and then the second one is the you know the membrane one the instruments which has got membrane okay so take the example of the tabla the drum isn't it it has got a membrane and when it is beaten it produces a sound then again there is a kind of a organ which can be known as you know where we have to blow the wind blow the air inside that so we'll talk about that just i'll clean this so we'll talk about the different kinds of musical instruments okay we'll talk about the different kinds of musical instruments okay so we are talking about what we are talking about different musical instruments in this the first kind is what the first kind of musical instruments can be what it can be string instruments it can be which kind of instruments it can be string instruments okay now second time can be of wind instrument membrane instrument okay so we are talking about here the different kinds of musical instruments so what can be the different kinds of musical instrument children the first category can be of string instrument okay now what is the meaning of string instrument those instruments which has got a string okay a sort of a wire so how the voice how the sound how the pitch varies in this uh, you know the string instruments when the size of that wire when the size of the string is uh, you know is uh, changed then it produces different kinds of sound okay as we know that by increasing uh, uh, and uh, decreasing the length of the pendulum the amplitude gets changed when amplitudes get changed then everything you know it keeps on the everything depends upon that and then uh, it, the the sound also get changed okay so what are the different instruments in which the string is present so maybe violin maybe guitar maybe sitar okay maybe uh, maybe uh, even veena okay so all these uh, uh, musical instrument has got strings and all these strings also have different kind of sounds okay the one who knows about the music can differentiate between the voice of all this 
uh, instruments. Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, we cannot differentiate every one of us. Like, I do not have any kind of knowledge about all this, so I won't be able to differentiate. But then the one who is having a good knowledge about the uh, instruments will be differently, uh, will be able to differentiate between the sound of a veena, guitar, sitar, okay, whatever all these uh, 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 the same musical instruments are. Okay, now the wind instruments. Now wind in, uh, and what is the difference between these two, you know? Here the strings are there. Okay, and those only by, you know, uh, vibration of the strings. Only because of the vibration of the strings the sound is produced. Okay, but uh, what, what is done over here? Uh, air is blown. Okay, just uh, talk about the flute. So, what is drawn, uh, done in the flute? The air, uh, air has to be, you know, when uh, that particular part is kept in the mouth, the air is blown into that. Air column is produced and that produces a different kinds of sound in that, okay. But in string membrane, there is no, like we don't have to blow, we don't have to, uh, like you know, air, uh, we don't have to pass air, nothing like that. But just what, the string has to be moved. Just because of the those vibration of the string, the sound is produced. Okay, now here the strings are attached on the wooden frames. Okay, if we talk about veena, sitar, guitar, every whatever instrument you will see, you will see that a wooden box sort of a thing is there. Okay, which is almost empty or vacant from inside. Okay, this these frames are almost empty or vacant from inside, and on this the uh, these wires are attached, okay, these wires are attached. So, when these wires are uh, vibrated, okay, when it, these wires moves up and down, this different kind of sound is produced. And in wind, what is happening over there children? When the air is blown into this, air column is produced and again different kind of sound is produced. Now, membrane. Membrane instruments means what children? When the, uh, when we talk about dhola, tabla, okay, like all these kind of instruments, the drums and all this. So, it has got a membrane, isn't it? It, it has got a membrane on which the, uh, like that membrane is beaten. When uh, this membrane is beat, beaten, then what happens? It vibrates and there is a sound is produced, okay. Now, how the membrane is uh, like whether it is stuck tightly okay, or it is loose, the sound will also vary with these two qualities. If the membrane is stuck tightly, then sound produced will be very nice, is not it? Even you can understand and when it becomes loose, the sound produced will be not so, uh, it won't be so good. So, the one who plays tablas and drums, they in between certain interval, you know, they keep on tucking the membrane, uh, they, they, they pull that round uh, sort of thing is there, they make it tight rather to say, okay. So, in this way, different kind of instruments are used in India to uh, produce different kinds of sounds. When I say that in India, so again there is a kind of instruments which do not come into any of this quality, uh, any of this, uh, uh, neither it is in the string instrument, neither it falls in the wind instrument, nor it falls in the category of membrane instrument. Then what, it, what are those instruments children? Those instruments are like you know, uh, just a sort of a instrument which is beaten, just uh, you know, struck in a particular rhythm and the sound is produced, okay. Just because of particular rhythm, the sound is produced. Uh, say the example of the uh, ghatam, okay, matka. So, it is just beaten nicely in a particular rhythm and it gives a particular, you know, melodious sound. Uh, take the example of the, uh, you know, the several bowels are kept children and in that different, different amount, like those bowels are filled with the water in different, different, uh, amount and just by uh, and just by you know putting appropriate amount of water in different different cups or uh, bowls different uh, kind of sound can be produced which is known as jal tarang even that one is very very interesting but that is specifically found particularly found you know only in India you will not found uh, you will not find uh, you will not get all these kind of instruments anywhere in the 
uh, very easily anywhere else. But these are specialties of the India. But these three instruments, okay, the based on string instrument, based on wind instruments, and membrane instrument, these are available all over the world. Rather, the musical instruments can be divided into the categories on the basis of this three only. That whether it has got string, whether the air is blown into that, or it has got membrane. Okay, so majority or uh, like. Uh, all the instruments can be put up in either one of these category, but there are only very few like ghatam or the jaltaran which doesn't falls under any of this category because it doesn't has wires, it doesn't has any membrane, rather air is also not blown in uh, blown in any of these kind of instruments. Means which kind of instruments like jaltaran and the ghatam. But only it is beaten in a very specific manner, rhythmically, and so it gives a very wonderful sound, okay, very melodious sound. So that is uh, also a kind of, you know, we can say it is one of the uh, uh, type which is found, like it is known as Ghana Vadya. Okay. So it is what Ghana Vadya, which is just uh, what it is, it is just beaten in the different, different, uh, in a rhythm to give a melodious sound, okay. So this was about the, how the musical instruments produce different kinds of sounds. Now we will shift to the next topic. <laughs>